Hey there, it's Dr. Brenda, founder of the Gutsy Women Club, Gutsy Women Finances Community, financial coach, sociologist, full-time RV, or traveling the country with my cats. Welcome. Okay. Um, hey, before I forget, please subscribe below. It would really help me a lot. Thanks so much to those of you who are already subscribing. I'm going to talk a little bit about, about power because something happened the other night that uh, if you are RVing, I'd like for you to be aware of it too. So if this comes up, you have a solution. I'm all about solutions, right? So I have a 30 amp RV. Okay, I've got... Uh, this is the, um, the electrical box at my current site, which is where I had the problem. So I've got a surge protector, whoops, and, uh, you know, 30 amp. So generally, now, one thing I noticed when I came here is, look how shiny and new this is. It's shiny and new, here's the 50 amp, here's the 30 amp. So I'm like, okay, I know there was a problem at this site because uh, they replaced this receptacle for some reason, right? So I uh, plugged in like I usually do, turned the uh, power on, see what happens here. Okay, so far so good. So um, here, let's see, you can see the, the lights on over there. So um, that's generally the way I plug in, right? No problem. And my first night here, um, I'd taken a walk, came back, and the microwave light uh, is, is out. The clock is out. It's like, okay, there must have been a power outage. No problem. Set the clock again. And I'm doing some work, and all of a sudden, everything starts flickering. Uh, the, the, um, a good, uh, good example is the refrigerator. So the refrigerator... When the power, when I don't have it plugged into electric, it switches to propane. And I could hear it flickering back and forth between propane and electric, flickering, flickering. And of course it was night, because this stuff always happens at night. So I came out to the box and I uh, jiggled this. This is, this is a little bit loose, so this is the 30 amp thing. Now I've since called them and uh, they sent somebody over to check it out. So, um, but anyway, so the lights are flickering, made sure this was uh, more secure, and went back to the coach. And about 10 minutes later, the same thing is happening. Um, I'm in my pajamas, running out here again. And it's like, okay, well, that's not going to work. So what am I going to do? Um, when I first bought my RV, which is now like two years ago, I can't believe it. I read through so many things about what I needed. Some of the stuff I didn't. Some of the stuff, you know, really wasn't made for a Class C. But <clears throat> this is something I've been carrying around ever since. It's referred to as a dog bone. Uh, hopefully a dog doesn't come after it. But it's an adapter. It's a 3050 adapter. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I, um, one of the keys, when you've been carrying something around with you for two years, know where you put it. Okay, so it's dark. It's at night. And I am going to give you a little tip here because... If this runs into you, you want to be able to find this. And this is my electrical compartment. So I have had this in here for two years. And I figure, okay, haven't needed it yet. Probably never going to need it, right? Nope, I needed it. I needed it. So let me show you what I had to do is um, I took off the 30 amp. I'm going to turn it all off again. Okay. And with my surge protector, I plugged in the 30 piece here. Now this is the 50 amp. So the 50 amp, I'm able to plug that in there, turn the 50 amps back on. Okay. And I'm back in business. So that is a, a way to solve it. If you are having problems with the 30 amp and your RV, your rig is 30 amps, uh, get yourself a 50 to 30 amp adapter. I'm going to add a link into the discussion here. So if you are in need of one, uh, you can easily find one. They're not hard to find, but of course, when you need one and you don't have it, you're kind of dead out of luck. So, and not all of the uh, boxes are going to come with 30 and 50 amps, but it worked out really well for me this time. And 
that's a tip for you. Uh, so if you are full-time RVing, if you are part-time RVing, if you are RVing, get one of these dog bones. So, um, uh, yeah, but that's a good way to sort of troubleshoot and get yourself some power when the 30 amp has failed. All right, guys, so I know, technical, boring stuff, but as these problems, as I run into these problems, like my tire problems, I'm going to share the information with you because if we can solve it together, maybe I can prevent somebody out there from having the same type of headaches I've been having. All right, until next time, you guys take care. It's Dr. Brenda, over and out. Bye-bye.